Hey friends, welcome. And I ended the previous video after discussing the uh, oxidative addition reaction. And this video will start from the reductive elimination and it will cover the reductive elimination, an important problem from CSIR exam, and also the beta and alpha migratory insertion and beta hydride elimination. So let's start with this topic. So, for example, you have any substrate like let's say you have two methyl groups here in the metal and it is in plus two oxidation state and it can undergo reductive elimination to give the metal zero back and methyl and two methyl will add to give you ethane. Okay, so this is called reductive elimination. This is this is just the reverse of the oxidative addition and they are reversible. So oxidative addition and reductive eliminations two are reversible now you can see by this reaction you can form carbon carbon bond but no one will uh, want to make a ethane out of this reaction because there are many easier way to make ethane but let's say this particular metal complex somehow we made it and now it undergoes the reductive elimination so these two groups will join together and you will get a one two three four five so you will get a five membered ring you can see this you will get so you you, you are forming a indole so this can be a very useful reaction in this case metal is in plus two oxidation state here it will be metal zero so there are a lot of examples and that's what I want to teach you throughout this series. So you can see indole can be formed by this organometallic reaction. So this is very important. So reactive elimination, oxidative addition are very important. Now uh, next what I will, uh, so now I will discuss a particular example of reductive elimination which is very important that question came in CSIR exam. 2017 December so you can see this is the problem now we have to tell that which uh, ligand will allow the reductive elimination of the methyl uh, and the phenyl group to form the toluene now if you consider any complex if you consider the first three uh, ligands you can see all of them will form a complex like this where you have these two groups this uh, bidentate ligand will be cis to one another and that means the methyl and the phenyl will also be cis to one another but in option 4 which is given in that case you can see the two groups will be trans i am not writing the full ligand there is aromatic ring but you can see the ligand is bigger in size the length is longer so it can form a trans uh, trans complex that is the two ligands will be trans to each other so two phenyls here so these are the ligands. there are aromatic rings here i am not writing so you can see in the option four it can form a trans complex so and that that means if these two groups are trans in a square planar complex the methyl and phenyl group should also be trans now one thing i till now i didn't told you that what are the st st uh, stereo electronic requirement for a complex to undergo reductive elimination and that is for a reductive elimination to occur the two groups should be ceased to each other because it is a concerted process like this so you can represent it like this so as i told in some cases the oxidative addition occurs in a concerted state a concerted pathway like for hydrogen but reductive elimination will always go through a concerted state and for that these two groups should be cis to each other. Now in this case, in the first three case where it forming a cis complex, you can see they are cis to each other and it can undergo this reductive elimination to give you this toluene. 
but in this case they are trans to each other and that's why the reductive elimination cannot uh, occur and that's why it will not give you this so just you have to predict that which ligand will not uh, allow for reductive elimination to occur and you will uh, you have to pick option 4 as correct and you will get 4 marks so this is very important for reductive elimination and uh, what are the consequences of this I will uh, show you later when I will discuss the reactions now another thing which left is the migratory insertion and beta hydride elimination so migratory ins insertion means let's say you have a metal center and a pi ligand any uh, group any alkene is attached here and you have another group let's say methyl group here so it can undergo a reaction where this methyl will be shifted here and a new bond will be formed between these two so in this case you are getting this so me, sorry methyl is attaching here and the R group is here so you can see this methyl group is going here this and now a new bond is forming here so you can see if you uh, give the number this is alpha this is beta so you can see this is called beta migratory insertion this is called beta migratory insertion Another insertion reaction is there which is called alpha migratory insertion that is when you have a carbonyl group here and you have a methyl group here. So this methyl group can undergo a insertion reaction in here. So out of that you will get this and you can see in this case it is alpha it is beta so it is called alpha mi. So this is called alpha migratory insertion this is called beta migratory insertion and uh, this can also come back again here so this reaction is reversible as well as this reaction is also reversible and the reversibility of this particular reaction which is let's say you have a complex where you have a hydrogen here sorry you have a hydrogen here and you have any R group here and you know this hydride can go on the metal and this bond will come back here so you can see uh, this will give you here hydride and here you will have this now instead of hydrogen it can be methyl group also so here also it can do the same way and you will get the reverse reaction that is and this reaction is also reversible you can see either it can go here it can go here so either from this side you can get this or from this side you can get this so the forward reaction is called beta hydride elimination and the reverse reaction is called beta migratory insertion now like the previous one the reductive elimination this beta hydride elimination is also uh, beta hydride elimination also requires some stereo electronic factor and that is also it requires the syn stereochemistry that is for the beta hydride elimination like this where you have this hydride and it is undergoing a beta hydride elimination so you can see i can represent the transition state like this so you can see it goes through a four member transition state and that's why it requires the seen stereochemistry of these two groups so your cm bond and ch bond these two bonds have to be seen, seen to each other to undergo this uh, beta hydride elimination if they are trans to each other it will not undergo beta hydride elimination so it has a far reaching implement on the Hick reaction and on that topic i already made some videos you can check so i will finish my discussion here I have discussed all the basic reactions of organometallic compounds and in the next video I will discuss about uh, the actual reaction that is Hague reaction and other cross coupling reactions. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.